the castle of St. Florence, Castillo de Santa Florentina, is an 11th century medieval castle in the municipality Canet de Mar in the Catalonia region. It is a 50 minute drive from Barcelona along the coast. It was built on the foundations of an ancient Roman villa, the remains of which were incorporated into the castle. In the 14th century, the castle was fortified with two towers and medieval gates that offered protection against the pirates of the Mediterranean. Over the centuries, the house passed through many owners until the 16th century when the owner's daughter married a Barcelona-based lawyer. To this day, the castle is occupied by a direct descendant of that family. In the late 19th century, the castle was expanded and renovated by the modernist architect Luis Montaner, also known for designing the Palau de la Música. The combination of different architectural types is a wondrous addition to the experience, and in 1949, the house was designated a cultural heritage monument. In 1998, the magazine Architectural Digest covered the castle as among the most beautiful houses in the world on account of its harmonious fusion of Gothic and modernist designs. It is important to remember, as the family still occupies the castle, the museum can only be visited by appointment, which you can book on their website. Among the museum's collections are many works by Catalan artists dating back to the early 20th century. The castle can be booked for private events such as weddings and also hosts a yearly festival of classical music. In 2015, the castle was selected as a setting for the sixth season of the fantasy television series Game of Thrones.
ticket prices for the audio guided tour are adults 12 euros, seniors 10 euros, and children 6 euros. There are six available time slots to choose from starting at 11 a.m. and ending at 6.30 p.m. These prices and times are subject to change, so please check the website. Upon entry, you will be given a handheld listening device, which you will enter a corresponding number to the signage posted to hear the relevant information. As you walk through the castle, you will be accompanied by a staff member, and wandering the grounds is not permitted. You can also book a guided tour. There is no parking on the grounds, however, there is parking on the street adjacent to the castle. You will be greeted at the gate by friendly and welcoming staff. The site offers wonder around every corner and is definitely worth a visit.